I love red lobster. Man, it's on my face. 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 Man, it's on what up, though? It's your boy Rozzy, and we back with another episode of Real Rapper Shit. Been a lot going on this week, as usual. This Real Rapper Shit never stops. It's going non-stop, all the time, 24-7. One of the biggest things that just broke for me, and it's probably one of my happiest situations, is Kanye and Drizzy are back locked in, man. They just linked up with each other, and they ended up meeting at Drake's house. Shout out to Jay Prince. If y'all saw that, <laughs> that video last week, where Jay Prince had Kanye do an apology, um, basically calling for a truce with Drake, and it was uh, it was pretty get outish, you know what I'm saying? Let's watch that right now. Yo, this is Jay and Jay Prince. I'm making this video to address the ongoing back and forth between myself and Drake. Uh, both me and Drake have taken shots at each other, and it's time to put it to rest. I'm asking Drake on December 7th to join me on stage as a special guest to share the two biggest albums of the year live in Los Angeles with the ultimate purpose being to free Larry Hoover. I believe this event will not only bring awareness to our cause, but prove to people everywhere how much more we can accomplish when we lay our pride to the side and come together. Beautiful. So last night they ended up linking at Drake's house. Dave Chappelle was there. You have to admit to yourself that this shit is impressive. Yes! Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. I cannot believe I'm in a nigga's house. <laughs> a nigga from this city that did not grow up this way. Tonight, he brought some of the biggest stars on earth to his home, Kanye West. In his home. My god man Dave Chappelle is in his home. This is Canada. It's what a black American calls the finish line. Niggas ran from slavery to this place. And tonight we feel free in my niggas home. My god man, look. Drake. It looked like it was a star-studded event. Man, like I say, this boy Drake house looked like it's gigantic, man. That is gold right there. That man looked like you can have an entire party or an entire type of club inside this man's house, which is a, a beautiful situation. And Kanye was there. They did a selfie together, and they hugged up on each other, and it looked like they, they got some brotherly love, man. I, I feel like this is in... It's out of respect for Jay Prince, which we all know Jay Prince helped a lot of careers out, but more specifically, his son, Jazz Prince, is the one that helped out Drake, his success, and helped him link up with Lil Wayne. And then, um, of course, they're doing this out of respect for Larry Hoover, man. They're trying to free Larry Hoover, so it sounds like they're about to do a, a big event concert where it's Drake and Kanye West together. That's the concert I really want to see. That sounds like that's going to be the most lit situation you could possibly think of. I'm happy for this, man. I, I'm, I'm glad that they got this out the way because I can only imagine Drake and Kanye working together in 2022, working in 2021. They probably in the studio as we speak, as we even talking right now. I bet you they're in the studio with each other. And that's probably one of the dopest situations you could possibly think of. Charlotte Man, the guy was already talking about it. He was like, yo, what if uh, it's a project produced by Kanye West, a Drake project produced by Kanye West, and a Kanye West project written by Drake? Just imagine the sound of that, man. I can't wait to hear it. I'm glad they're over that situation. And like I said before on my last post, if y'all watch it, I feel like it's the old Kanye back, man. The old Kanye West is back. I'm not saying him being married had anything to do with him losing himself, but sometimes when you're in a relationship, you do lose yourself when you're constantly around the other person. You don't get a chance to have your your own thoughts or expression the way you want to. It sounds like Kanye's been out and he's been able to go around a lot of different people and he's been able to really enjoy himself and, and get back in tune with who he really is as a person and as an individual. Uh, Drake and Kanye, they fixed their feud, man. Somebody check on that boy Pusha T. Somebody call Pusha T and make sure he good. Call that man. Y'all got his y'all got his number. Call Push real quick, man. Real rapper shit. Real rapper shit. No, real rapper. The real rapper. I'm trying to say I ain't no real rapper now. It's crazy to me because they thought we was gonna do real rapper shit. Real rapper shit. Real rapper shit.